uncut exceptions, all exceptions must be caught somewhere. If your method does not catch the exception where it occurs, the exception is thrown to the method if any that called your method. If that method does not catch it, it is thrown further up in the call chain. If no code catches it, the Java Virtual Machine does, in which case it terminates execution and displays an error message. Now let's look at this example. So here we have a static method void called try method. And in this method, we have an integer array of my numbers that is set to one, two, three, and a print line where we can print my numbers index four. And this is obviously an index out of bounds exception. So as we discussed earlier, so uh, since the uh, exception happens in this try method function, so we have a couple of options to catch this exception. One, uh, we can catch the exception here in this method and handle it. If not, we can go to the method that calls this method, which, which in this case, we call the try method from the main method, and then we can try to catch the exception here and handle it. And then if not, uh, the exception will be thrown further up in the chain. So there is no uh, other method calls the main method. So main method is the last one. So in that case, this uh, program, uh, the program will crash because the Java runtime environment uh, will cache the exception. So let's see what happens. Here you go. So the program was crashed in the line six because there was an exception here. Again, we already see how we can uh, try catch it right here, but we can also catch it in the method where we actually uh, call the try method. So I'm going to say try. And put the method call inside the try block and then try to catch it. So catch. Let's use the general exception class. And we can print itself and let's see what happens here we go so uh, we were able to successfully cache the error here as you can see the the, um, the exception happened in the method but we caught the exception in the main method